What up everybody, Instructor Beats back again here with tape diagrams. Today we're going to be doing an additive comparison model introduction. So let's rip off the tape and see what our objective is today. Today we'll be able to create an additive comparison model to help visually show what I am doing in a word problem. So before we do that, let's review three reasons we subtract, okay? Um, so the first two reasons are when we are taking from something or taking something apart. And we've talked about that before, and we're going to use a part whole model to show that, right? So uh, if you're taking from something, you could have 10 apples and you're taking two away. Or if you're taking something apart, you could be looking for a missing part, right? And we're going to show that with a part whole model. Today we are going to focus on when we are comparing, okay? And so when we are comparing using addition and subtraction, we would use our additive comparison model. So before we start using the additive comparison model, what type of language would you see in a problem if you were comparing, right? What's our comparing language? So you might see a question that says, how many more does Elijah have than Madeline, right? That highlighted part, how many more than, means that we're comparing something, right? We're comparing two different things. And in this case, we're comparing whatever Elijah has with whatever Madeline has. You could also be, comparing if in the word problem it says something like five more than so Joni has five more than Andrew we're comparing what Joni has and what Andrew has using addition we're saying she has five more than whatever it is Andrew and then or it could say Andrew has five less than Joni right so comparing using subtraction here we're comparing again whatever it is that Andrew and Joni have Andrew has five less of it so we're comparing Andrew and Joni using this comparing language. So once you see this comparing language, that's going to lead you to know that you're going to be drawing a additive comparison model to help you visually see what's happening. So we're going to do two things right here. Okay, We're going to take a look at a level one type of question. This is going to be um, kind of the easiest questions. And then we're going to give you an in-depth look at what the, how the additive comparison model can help you model what is happening. So right here it says Madeline has eight cookies. Elijah has 14. How many more cookies does Elijah have than Madeline? So I'm going to write my statement. This is a part of my sides check word problem strategy that we love so much. So I know I'm looking for anything about cookies because that's what my statement's about. So Madeline has eight cookies. Elijah has 14. How many more does Elijah have than Madeline, right? This right here is telling me you're going to be comparing Elijah and Madeline. So we're going to make an additive comparison model. So I'm comparing Madeline and Elijah. Okay. And by this point, you should probably be pretty good with your part whole models. Okay. Cause we've done that before. Um, and so it's going to kind of look similar, except we're going to be drawing two different models. First, we know that Madeline has eight. Okay. So we're going to make this quantity eight and Elijah has 14. So we want to start first of all at the same spot, right? Just like you were on a number line, you got to start at zero and we know 14. Okay. Cause you have some sort of, um, estimation skills is obviously bigger than eight. Okay. And it's not like twice as big as eight. We know that'd be 16. Okay. And if you don't have that skill yet, that's okay. It's something you're going to develop. But basically the important thing is that you make 14 bigger than eight, right? Cause you're showing that relationship. And the question right here is asking you, how much more does Elijah have than Madeline? This is our additive comparison model. We drew, we drew a bar or a tape to represent Madeline. We drew a bar or a tape to represent Elijah. And then we're comparing it. We're trying to find what, how much is this line worth right here? How much bigger is Elijah than Madeline? So to find out how big this red part is right here, where my question mark is, okay, because you always put your question mark where you um, are trying to find the answer. So I know I have eight. How much more would I have to add to that to make it equal to 14, right? That's what it's asking me. So in other words, what I'm doing is eight plus something, my question mark, is going to equal 14. Well, we know because of our fact family knowledge we learned in second grade, if we're trying to find this question mark, okay, and we could either do start at eight and we could go, okay, count on your fingers, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and figure out your answer has to be six because then they'd be equal. Or if you wanted to, you could get rid of the eight by subtracting and rewrite this using your fact family knowledge and do 14 minus eight and your answer would still be six. So when you're comparing using addition or using an additive comparison model, 
you're really trying to find this missing piece right here and you can solve it using subtraction, right? Because you want to get rid of this part right here and figure out how big that part is. Ah. Okay, so our answer would be six. This is a level one question because all you're doing is you're finding the difference, right? They gave you the two quantities and you found the difference between them, which incidentally, by the way, is the answer to a subtraction problem. Let's take a look at a level two. So here we have uh, the same type of question. It says Madeline has eight cookies, okay? Elijah ha doesn't have six, has six more than Madeline. This part right here tells me I am making an additive comparison model because I'm comparing Elijah and Madeline, right? It said six more than Madeline. And I wanna know how many cookies Elijah has, okay? So for this one, I kind of skipped um, my statement and I started to identify to show you, but I'm gonna go back and do that because I do believe in doing our sides check strategy. So my statement's going to say, Elijah has blank cookies. I've already identified anything about cookies, okay? So I'm already done with that. Time to develop my plan. Because I did my sides check and I circled this part right here, I know I'm doing an additive comparison model, all right? So here's Madeline, okay, here's Elijah, and we're gonna fill in what we know. We know Madeline has eight, okay? So we're gonna start right here with eight, all right? Now it says Elijah has six more than Madeline. So for this one, I do my additive comparison model a little bit differently, okay? So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna draw the same thing for Elijah, okay? And then it said Elijah had six more than Madeline. So if they had the same amount, then you would have to add another six to, Ma or to Elijah right here. And your statement's asking you for Elijah, which is why you put your question mark right here. You wanna know how big his tape diagram is. Well, if this part right here is equal to eight, then that also has to be equal to eight, right? And you could add those together and your answer would be 14. Elijah's tape diagram, this, um, question mark is equal to 14. Again, my steps were, I knew it was telling me Elijah had six more than Madeline. So I drew the same size model right here as I did for Madeline. And then I had to do another six more. So for this one, I didn't have the line right here. Okay. Because I added the extra bar down here and that's totally fine too. You can do that. And that's just another form of your additive comparison model. All right. So here we're getting to level Three. Yeah! Our, our level three question says, how many do they have all together? So if I'm doing my sides check right here, okay, I'm beginning with the end in mind by writing my statement. So my statement's going to say, they had blank cookies all together. So that's my statement. I'm going to go back and I'm looking for any keywords that I know, okay, or anything about cookies. So it says, Madeline has eight cookies. Elijah has six less than Madeline. This right here is telling me that I'm doing additive comparison and I'm comparing Madeline and Elijah. And then I wanna know how many do they have all together. So at the end of this, I'm going to bring, be bringing something together to find my answer. So I know that I'm doing a uh, additive comparison model because of my keywords that I found. So here I have Elijah, okay, and I'm comparing Elijah and Madeline, all right? So I'm going to give them each the same amount at first. Okay, again, making sure you start at the same place so you have an equal group. And then it said, Elijah has six less than Madeline. Okay, so that means Madeline has six more than Elijah. Okay, so you need to add some to Madeline. And then it says Madeline has eight cookies. All right, so she has eight total and she has six more than, put my six right there, six more than Elijah. So how many do they have all together? That means at the end of this, I'm gonna be adding my two different tape diagrams together to find the total. Okay, so right here I have Madeline's tape diagram. It's a total of eight and this piece right here is six. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my part whole knowledge here. Well, how do I find this missing piece? Well, if from here to here is six, the total is eight, what would I have to add to six to make eight? And obviously that would be two. So from, for Madeline, this part right here is two. And up above it, Elijah had that same equal group, okay? So that means that also has to be two. So Elijah had two, Madeline had eight. When you combine them together, that would be a total of 10. So they had 10 cookies all together. 
So this one was a level three because you were bringing things together at the end. But then when it said Elijah has six less than Madeline, you have to be able to know, okay, well, if Elijah has six less than Madeline, that means Madeline has six more than Elijah, okay? And be able to draw that tape diagram. Again, making sure you put the question mark in the right place because your question mark should be the answer to your statement. Okay, here's what we want you to take from this because this might be your first time ever doing this today and that's totally fine. It's okay to fail as long as you learn from it, okay? If you're struggling with this, that's great. That's the point of coming to school. That's the point of looking stuff up on YouTube to get better at something. And you might not understand that at first, but you need to practice it. So whatever your teacher has for you to practice, take this strategy and continue to practice it. And the more you do it, the better you're going to become at it. And I promise you, it's going to help you as you go down the road this year in your math class. Thank you so much for checking out today. We really appreciate it. We would love for you to stop, hit the subscribe button right now. Check out all our other songs and video lessons. We've got a lot of stuff out here to help you guys. Again, thank you so much. Instruct Beats, out.